Welcome back to my vlog. Thank you for joining me today. I'm really excited because I'm in holiday mode. Yes, I have finished work. Today I'm spending the day packing and getting ready for going on holiday and I'm going to share with you my packing routine. So all of the steps that I go through every time I go away on holiday to show you how to be organized, how to make sure that not just the packing process of the cases, but unpacking at the other end goes smoothly and actually overall is just enjoyable and builds the excitement for the holiday. So if that's something that you'd like to see, then stick around. <music> So David has just taken Finn off to nursery. I'm going to do a quick scoot around the house, doing a quick tidy. Our cleaners are coming this morning, so I want to be kind of ready for them. I don't clean before they come, but I do like to kind of get the house tidy-ish. And then I'm going to sit down with a nice hot drink and show you exactly the planning stages that I go through when I'm getting ready for us to go on holiday. So let's get to this. So my candle of the day is happy fall. That's going nicely. Tear trays looking a little depleted. That's because I've used a couple of the mugs and they're in the wash or in use right now, actually. Uh, kitchen's looking a lot better. I'm gonna head upstairs shortly and start packing and just check that everything's tidy upstairs. But first I'm gonna sit down. I've just made a cup of tea and I'm gonna chat to you about what I do to get organised for packing when I'm going on holiday. So I've got my nice mug of tea and I thought I'd take some time now to sit with you and talk you through what I do when I'm preparing to go on holiday so that I feel organised and ready, mostly around the packing side of things, but also a few other little things that I always think about. And on that note, the first thing that we tend to do when we're going away in the UK on holiday, when it's self-catering, is book a supermarket shop to be delivered on our arrival day to that property. Now, this of course is assuming that there is a supermarket that will deliver in the location that we're going to. But I think we've always been pretty lucky that at least one supermarket will deliver. So the first job is go and find a delivery slot from a local supermarket. So a couple of days ago, I hopped on a call with family because we're going away with family and we just all between us agreed what things we wanted to be in the shop. So that is all done and ready. And it just makes me feel so good knowing that we're gonna have all of that food side of things sorted. I know that we'll have all of the bits we need for Finn and I don't have to worry about packing that today. So win. So the second thing that I do is to make sure that I'm getting all of our clothes clean and ready and any items of clothing or other things that I know we don't need to use again before we go away, I put in a space in our house. So invariably for me, that's our spare bedroom. I'll just make the bed and just put loads of stuff on it so that it's all there ready and waiting. So I'm sort of starting to build up a little pile of stuff ready to go. And that helps me at least start to feel like I'm a bit organised ahead of time before I get to the real nitty gritty of packing our cases to go. So the next thing that I do, and I generally do this 
anything up to about a week before we go away is I write out a list of things that I think we'll want to take. And I do this for myself, for Finn, and then for just any general things. David will do his own packing so I don't worry about him. And when I'm making a list, all I do is I get my iPad, use my Apple Pencil and just write it out manually. I find it quick and easy just to do it that way. And once I start writing, things just tend to flow. Something that I've done this time is I've actually sorted my list into categories, which makes it a bit easier when I come to packing. And it also, when I'm making the list, helps me remember all of the things that I'm going to need. So what I'm going to do is take a screen recording of my digital planner where I've got my packing list and just show it to you and talk you through it a little bit. Earlier this year, I actually learned how to make my own digital planners. And for about the past, I would say about three or four months, I've actually been using my own digital planner on my iPad. I absolutely love this. I have to say it's something that I've really, really enjoyed doing over the past few months, both creating the planner and then using it because it's so bespoke to me. Everything here is exactly how I want it, down to all of the different tabs and pages that I've got. I've got things that are very specific to me and my life and it just makes things so easy. But I am thinking of making a digital planner for 2023 to actually offer out. So if that's something that interests you, let me know in the comments and what kind of things you'd like to see in a planner. In fact, if you don't know what a digital planner is or how to use one, I didn't either. And um, it's actually really, really easy to use. And it's basically like a paper planner that you'd have but in digital form on a tablet and you can navigate around it. It's easiest if you've got a pencil, to be honest, because I tried before I got this iPad with my old iPad and that was a lot harder to use. But yeah, I love it. So let's do a screen share and I'm gonna talk you through this. So here we are, you can see the cover page of my digital planner. Down the left and right hand side, I've got all of the different tabs. So I've actually created this planner just for quarter four of this year. And um, even though you can see there's many more months than that down the side, I'm actually only really using October, November and December, and then I'll create a new planner for next year. And each of these tabs I can tap with my Apple Pencil and it will take me to that page. So for example, if I head into the top left hand tab year, this offers a really nice quick view of the year ahead. Now I'm not going to go through all of the digital planner now, but what I am going to do is head into the bottom right tab travel and here uh, I've got pages where I can write out my future travel plans and this is a view of the list that I've already done for this holiday you can see I've got the top October November holiday I've quickly written out the days that um, we're going to be away for and then I've just started brainstorming and I've got sections so I've got um, a page for me a page for Finn and then you'll see on the next page, I've got categories such as electricals, cables, food, other toiletries, hair, tools, and a bit more for other, because I think I needed a bit more space. So it's just these two uh, spreads that I've used. And I've just gone through and written out all of the different things that I feel I'll need to take. Creating a packing list is really simple and easy to do, and it can really help speed things up when you actually get to the job of packing. So the last step is actually doing the packing. And I have been using packing cubes for the last few years. And I'm gonna take us upstairs so that I can show you the selection of packing cubes that I now have. These are really easy to find on Amazon. There are so many on there. I bought a new set earlier this year and the previous two sets I think I had um, were from about three years ago when I went to Disney, which is the first time I used the packing cubes. And ever since then, I've used the packing cubes for every holiday we've been on. Why? 
because I just find that it makes everything so organized. I can use different packing cubes for different types of things, so toiletries, makeup, clothes, footwear, you name it. I can have a different packing cube or bag for each thing. They slot nicely into a suitcase. They make it look really organized. And importantly, at the other end, so when I get on holiday, if I want to really quickly unpack and put the case away so that I don't have to feel like I'm living out of a suitcase, all I have is about six or seven packing cubes to put into a wardrobe instead of taking every single item out individually. And then I tend to live out of the packing cubes during the holiday. Some of them I might unpack, others I'll just work from them. And they also double up. You can use one of them as a laundry bag as you, you know, go through the week and you have washing that needs to be done. So they are brilliant. I give them a massive thumbs up. I will have a look and see which ones I've bought in the past and drop a link in the description in case you're interested in having a look yourself. So let's go and have a look at my packing cube selection. And then importantly, I really need to get on with packing. Okay, so Lily has decided to come and be a part of it all. She is decidedly not helping me pack, but she's just looking cute on the bed. <laughs> right, so I have found my packing cubes. I keep them all inside one of the packing cubes. So this is what one looks like. So I've just opened up all of the packing cubes and I've got three sets, turquoise, pink and grey. I'm going to show you each of them. So the turquoise set, quite a simple one. It's a three piece set of packing cubes. Comes in large, medium and small in terms of the sizes. So another set that I've got is this pink one. I also have had these about three or four years. These are by Fun and Young, travel season it says on them. This is the biggest one, so it's a really nice big cube. Then I've got this one, which is particularly good. It's a different style. It's good, it's got a little window on the front for putting things like shoes in, I find. I use that for, it's got like a little handle on the top and quite a good size. You get a few pairs of shoes in that if that's what you used it for. And then there's quite a lot of smaller bags with this set. So you've got another of this style, which is quite small, good kind of size for putting underwear in. Then there is this one. This one has a little hook so that you can hang it up. It's got compartments inside, three compartments and a base part. It's got like a little, I don't know what style you call this, but like QB bag type one that zips around the top. Um, and it's got a little insert also at the top, a meshed insert. And then finally, there's a couple of small sleeve type bags. So quite a good set in terms of the quantity of bags you get with that one. I also really like the fact that this one is a nice big cube. I've got this set that I'll show you now. So you can see it's got one reasonably sized one, but nowhere near as big as this baby. So that's the biggest one of those from the grey set. Then there's a smaller one, it's got a little handle on the top and it just zips round to open like that. A smaller one again, there's an extra one of those, so it's got four of that style. It has one large laundry pouch plus two smaller ones of those. So just with a simple zip across the top. And then it's got two of these drawstring bag style. Just wanted to show you, um, I found this in with my travel gear. 
I got it as a present, haven't used it yet, and I'm toying with using it for this holiday, but we're not flying, we're doing a UK staycation, so I'm not really sure that I need it, but I might use it anyway, and it is a Minnie Mouse luggage strap. Yay! The other three bags of note that I should also show you, I wanted solutions for storing my makeup, my jewellery and my toiletries in a way that allowed me to easily access them and not take up too much shelf space. This one is my makeup solution bag that I found. So it's got one, two, three zip pouches. So I tend to put my lipsticks in here, eyeshadows in here, uh, blusher and brush a brush in here and my foundations and brushes in here and it hangs on a door got a hook um, but it also just rolls up nicely for transit and clips around so that's great for makeup this is my toiletry bag again comes with that hook very handy it's got this really useful actually little top bit that I it actually holds loads of stuff so I tend to put like cotton buds in some hair bands a mini set of nail clippers maybe a lip balm sometimes then it's got a three-way section here that I put things like deodorant and little perfumes in then it's got a big pocket here and at the bottom it's got a plastic pocket so this is great for storing bottles that if they did leak, you wouldn't want them to leak out anywhere. So that's like a sealed section. Finally, my jewelry storage solution. Again, that hook, very handy. And it's just got little segments. So one, two, three, one, two, one, two, and one big one. So you can, I can like separate out earrings, rings, bracelets, necklaces. And what I find with this is because it's got the compartments, it allows me to separate out my necklaces so you get less of them getting tangled and then having to spend forever to untangle your necklaces. I pack jewellery, toiletries and makeup in those three bags and then in all the others I separate out underwear, swimwear, pyjamas, day wear, evening wear, things like handbags, purses, anything like that that I plan to take. I separate those out into different packing cubes so that it's all nicely organized when I get to where I'm going. So I think that pretty much shows you how I pack. The one final point I guess is I have my list on hand. So here is my holiday list that I shared with you earlier. And as I go through, I literally just cross off as something goes into a packing cube. And then obviously the packing cubes get put into the case at the end. But eventually everything will get crossed off the list and we're good to go on holiday and I'm so excited. So I'm gonna put you on a time lapse now because I really need to get on with packing. I have been talking for a very long time and it is already half past three. This is how my days go. When I'm done, I will show you what the finished packing cubes look like in a case. So let's do it. I have been making great progress with my packing, feeling really pleased, still got a lot to go though. I thought I'd just take a quick moment to show you the clothes, the outfits that I've paired for this week long trip away. It's a trip to Wales in the UK, we'll be by the coast. No Disney on this occasion, but obviously I'll be taking my own little bit of Disney with me. So first up, I am taking my full themed workout gear, one, one set of workout gear and a t-shirt for cover up. So I can get a couple of workouts in while I'm away. I stream my workouts online. I will be taking an Apple TV with us just to make it really easy to stream. I no doubt will do a couple of dance conditioning style workouts. 
I've got this a little Disney bag that I picked up I think this was from Primark yes it was uh, I'll be taking that for if we go out at all of an evening I've got this bag which is really handy to use as a day bag because it just kind of goes over my shoulder can just pop my essentials in it this is really handy to get one of these it's a fold up laundry basket it folds down really thin you can just pop it in on top of your clothes it pops out wherever you are and you can just chuck your dirty laundry in it as you go through the week and it's just i find it quite useful to have i've got my mini i think this is mini or is it mickey yeah it's mini mini mouse pajamas a little bit crease but they'll be fine adorable me there you go i've got two swimsuits because there's a hot tub where we're going so this one was new a few months ago. I bought it at Centre Parts. I really love the kind of autumnal colours and the design of it. That's a lovely, flattering swimming costume. And then I've got this one, which I've had for a few years now. It's kind of got a bikini style top that clips round. It's got a bottom bit there, which is like bikini bottoms, a centre bit, and then like a bikini top. So that's my swimsuit. Trousers, I am taking a pair of jeans, a pair of like corded trousers, I don't know if you can see those, and then this pair of like velvety black style trousers. And I'll also be taking a pair of like lounge trousers that I'll wear for the travel day and I can lounge around in those during the week. But I tend to during the day go quite casual wearing t-shirts, jumpers and hoodies. So I've done three types of pairings. So I've got pinks. So I've got this You Are Enough t-shirt, this Minnie Mouse t-shirt, and then I'm putting that with this um, Weird Fish jumper that I bought earlier this year when we were on holiday in Devon. Absolutely love this jumper and the kind of waffle effect. The second pairing I've got is blues. So I've got this I actually got in Hawaii, this top, when I worked on cruise ships. So I've got a long sleeve top and I've got a Hollister t-shirt. I love Hollister. And then this was from Primark. It says make today amazing. Apologies for the camera shadow there. <laughs> um, and with that, I will be pairing, let's just get it from in here, this pale blue hoodie with those. My third pairing is reds. So I've got this pink and red t-shirt that says Sunkissed. I've got a t-shirt that's got some red in it that says Sole so I can match that in with the red. I've got another Hollister t-shirt and a Hollister hoodie. I've got this jumper here which is like an orangey red with like little pink hearts in. I love this jumper, it's also quite nice and uh, warm. This is a bit of a joke, but I'm taking this to wear in the day on Halloween. Um, it's a bit of a long story, but basically I'm known as thing number one uh, by family, so that's a bit of fun really. And I thought it also it feels a bit Halloween-y for the daytime. Uh, Halloween evening, I've actually ordered something that's gonna be delivered to the property to do a bit of a dress up. But for the Saturday night before Halloween, when we'll be watching the Strictly Come Dancing, whoop, Halloween special, I have got my Mickey Mini Halloween dress to take that I wore in the last last week's video. So that is pretty much all of my clothes. One more thing, I've also got one evening type top to pop in, which if, just in case we go out for dinner one night, that gives me a couple of options. I've got this one and I've also got that dress that I could wear. So this is how I fold and prep my t-shirts. Just fold them into thirds and then up like that and then back on itself a couple of times. I kind of almost roll it. And then in the packing cubes, I do a t-shirt packing cube and it kind of looks like that. And I just pack them in two lots of rows. So I can easily see what I've got. So just look at how beautifully organised this looks. Makes it so easy to see what you've got. And now I simply zip up the top 
and that is one packing cube ready to go into my case. And that is how easy it is to pack my case with packing cubes, simple. I thought I'd also show you this shoe storage hanging device that I've got. You can see I've got these hooks, they simply pop into these holes and then you hang it over the back of a door and it allows you when you're on holiday to have really quick and easy access to loads of different things just on the go. It's brilliant and it packs down so slim. Here you can see I've got my vanity case that I'm putting some of my toiletry bags in just as an extra bag to my case to take. I'm also taking my Punta Cana bag in case we go to the beach or it can pass as an extra shopping bag. In there I put my laptop case and I'm also taking this fabulous Disney lounge fly bag that I absolutely love. Gotta take a little piece of Disney with me. And my brand new Minnie Mouse purse that I got for our recent anniversary from my fabulous boyfriend. And I'm loving using that in my bag. It goes so well with it. So just packing my handbag, I've got my phone, still carrying around a mask just in case sunglasses and we are ready to go on holiday so excited about finished my packing now I've got to go and just throw Finn's things into the packing cubes to get his case done and then we're off to his nursery to pick him up because it's now the day we are traveling so just before I close off this video I thought I'd show you how we use our packing cubes while we are actually on holiday you can see here Finn's packing cubes in the drawers in his bedroom and this is our walk-in wardrobe. You can see uh, all my packing cubes out on the shelves and that storage device for the shoes. Here you can see I can grab and go. There was also my laundry bin there that I popped up. Just so easy to unpack this way and live out of the packing cubes. It's so organized and when you come to pack up at the end of the holiday, it's super quick and easy. Fabulous. I hope that you found it really informative how to pack using packing cubes, the kind of routine that I follow every time we go away. And perhaps there are some things that you can take forward and use whenever you go away. If you have any questions on anything I've shared today, do let me know in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'm gonna say bye for now and see you next week.